So, <clears throat> gonna ride in some different kinds of snow. There's a lot of different kinds of snow, so you have to ride differently depending on what kind of snow you're riding on. If there's ice underneath, kind of do a little analysis and you know, ride accordingly. If you don't feel comfortable riding in certain situations, you might want to try those situations in a place that's safer. And we have a, a parking lot next to the shop here. Dang it. Stupid thing. Um, so we'll do a little practice in the parking lot. And the great thing about practicing in the parking lot is that, especially if it's not occupied, there's no one there, uh, there's room for you to make mistakes without having to worry about anyone else. Got some people on the street. Staying warm, you guys? Yeah. We have uh, a clinic on Saturdays from 2 to 5 here. How good. You can bang on the door. Mm -hmm. If you want to bring the kids down, they can work on a bike and they can take them home. I sure will on Saturday. On Saturday. I yep. sure will. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. A lot of really nice people in this neighborhood. So I'm walking because this kind of stuff is practically in my own experience. Not very easy to ride on. Um, I'm having a hard time walking on it. I suppose if you have a fat tire bike, this isn't a problem at all. But I don't have a fat tire bike. Now, riding on uh, snow depends on how warm or cold it is. We're actually really good friends with uh, Brian K. Lewis. He said before that I could uh, have kids riding a lot back here. In fact, that's George's truck over there. Now, it's very varied here. You got slushy type of snow, you got packed down type of snow, you have some loose snow on top. The, the pack, when it's super packed and it's really cold, like it was a couple days ago, it was like probably five degrees or something that type of pack snow is actually pretty easy to ride on it's when it gets warmer and starts breaking apart that it starts getting a little difficult and and the hardest thing is turning so of course the easiest stuff to ride on is the asphalt but we're gonna ride around and I'm gonna talk about how I'm approaching the different kinds of snow so I have flat pedals on my bicycle because when it's really sloppy out, I actually like to wear boots, just plain old boots, because I know my feet are going to get super wet. And if I have a far way to go, uh, riding with wet feet is just not fun at all. So I want, it, I want them to stay dry as long as possible. Uh, but you know, you can put over your bike shoes, if you wear bike shoes, you can get these booties and they, they fit right over the shoe. Um, so I'm just going to start riding. Uh, I'm going to, I have my stance where my right foot is on my right pedal. My right pedal is forward because that's how I usually start my bike. Uh, I don't do anything cool or special uh, when I'm riding in the snow. I don't try new stuff. I stick with the very standard ways of getting on, getting off, um, riding around, you know, you're not trying to lean in the snow, uh, you're not trying to go too fast, you know, just like when you're walking or when you're on ice walking, you, you're not going to run on ice, it's just dumb, so why would you go fast on a bike on snow, it's inclement conditions and you just don't want to make it harder for yourself. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take off. Now, my goal is to, to get moving, rolling, and get my butt in the saddle quickly because I want to be, I want the weight of my body to be as far back 
as possible because it's easiest to maneuver if my weight is back. If I'm leaning forward in any way, including if I'm looking down, it makes it harder to ride because the weight is up front. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but it does. So I'm going to take off. Now, I slipped. That's okay. I was looking down. <laughs> That's probably why. My, my rear wheel slid when I took off. And I wasn't ready for it. So I'm going to try that again. I went right into the saddle. So I'm riding slowly. As you know, if you've never ridden in snow, it's a long... Oh, see, it's uh, breaking apart. That's what's making it difficult to ride on. If you've never ridden in snow, wise to go slowly at first. You just get acquainted. Make sure you're you're always centered, always thinking about being centered. If your bike starts to slow down, pedal. I'm going to get off. This, this is going to stop me. And put you know, my balance is off. I'm going to help these people. Yeah, you too, man. difficult to ride on because some of it catches you know like your wheel will get traction and then it won't and it just it's surprising this is very hard to ride on so if you don't want to ride on this don't don't feel like you have to you have to be a tough guy I'm trying to stay as far right as possible you know just trying to give the drivers a chance here and I'm sliding you know, that, it makes them nervous. Understandable. You know, they don't want to run over you. Try to stay in the wheel tracks. It's easier to ride in wheel tracks. And take your turns really slow. Now this slushy stuff, this is easy to ride on. All right, I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna come back. This is very easy to ride on. Now the stuff in the middle there looks looks bad, but it's not really that bad. But you gotta hit it at a right angle. Because if you try to cross that stuff kind of uh, at an angle, not a right angle, like a, a closer, more acute angle, you know, there's a chance that you're gonna lose your footing. But if you're going straight, when you hit it, then you're, you're going to cut right through it. Or it'll stop you, but it's not likely because it's in the middle of the street. It's already been pushed up a lot by cars. There's no room for me over here, so I, I tend to just stay behind the cars, let them figure it out. You know, I'm not going to try to be a hero and uh, ride in this crap over here on the right. But I can. I know how but I don't advise it if you're just getting used to riding in the snow. Um, that's not where you practice right there. I'm gonna turn around see if I have a chance. Uh-oh, car come, or truck. So I'm staying where I can see the road still. If you get where you have to ride, you have to ride in this stuff for some reason, Get in the bus trap. Because the bus, think about it, is the heaviest thing out here. So it's going to smash down the slush or the snow in a nice pack. Really nice and um, consistent, hard. Look at this guy. Nice guy. He's trying to make room for me. That's very nice. He doesn't have to do that. I'm just going to hang out. 
this stuff is uh it's difficult to ride on i'm going right through it but it's really hard i don't feel like doing it i'm pretty sure you'd have a hard time riding on that even if you were on a mountain bike with the fat tires because it's it's very wet and clumpy and I just, I, I don't want to be a nuisance to the drivers. I believe that I, I am allowed to be out here just like they're allowed to be out here, but I'm not trying to scare the crap out of them. That's not fair. I mean, if, if someone's going to give me a problem, yeah, you know, like if I'm not doing anything wrong and I'm out of the way, yeah, I'm going to talk to them. We'll have some words. But, you know, they're not doing anything wrong. They're just minding their own business. There's no reason why I got to take up the whole street. Pick a street that's wider. Pick a street that is going to be more clear. I mean, if you want to see which streets are good and which are not, but you don't want to ride your bike right away, take your car out or take the bus and check it out. Now this stuff is really tall. Oh, and I just, I sent myself in the wrong spot. And I always, I kind of actually, when I was turning there, pushed myself back in the saddle. Now I started to spin out. This is not the easiest. Like, a couple days ago when it was super cold, I could ride on this because it wasn't falling apart. It's the falling apart. But the whole time, I'm telling myself, sit back in the saddle, sit back in the saddle. Don't look down, look up. I'm telling myself this because when you look down, you're going to go down or it's going to become really hard to pedal. It actually slows your front wheel down. Now, there's a debate over fat tires versus skinny tires. I prefer skinny tires because they cut through this slush stuff really well. In fact, see how see how it just cuts through the slush like a knife. Like a hot knife through butter. Well, maybe not that good, but pretty good. When I turn, I turn a little, and and then I go straight. And I turn a little, and then I go straight. But I can't, I can't make a. Sometimes you can't make the turn you want to make. That's okay. Think of every little success as a success. Don't beat yourself up for not being able to do this perfectly the first time. You're not going to be perfect. It's hard. You can do it at all. It's pretty amazing. Okay, hit it at a right angle. Like I said, don't do this. This is actually bad. But no one's coming. I'm going to attempt to ride on the sidewalk. This is probably not going to go well. Because people have even more variable uh, pack patterns than cars. Oh yeah, it didn't work. It's very hard. 